Good morning everyone and welcome to the start of the new school year. It was very strange this morning to walk into school and have the school very empty. Uh, even after having term three through the VSE, it seems really strange to be doing this at the start of the school year. Uh, obviously we're all hoping we can be back in school as soon as possible. Uh, I just wanted to say a little bit to start with about what makes the Great St Andrews community. Uh, this was actually created five years ago now, uh, a year before we moved into our new high school. This is our fifth year in the new high school. Uh, and it's a fant still a fantastic document, remember, written by the students five years ago. Uh, that's the, the three sections with ourselves, so safe, healthy and balanced, very important, especially at the moment uh, in difficult situations and online. Uh, the our relationships, and again, it's really important that we still look after our relationships while we're all online. And especially important at the start of the year, our community. The second one here, we're a family welcoming new members and supporting each other. Always the August monthly theme. Uh, it's, again, difficult to start the school year online, uh, especially difficult for those new students and new teachers who are joining St Andrews now. So I know that you'll make them very, very welcome. Over the summer I was watching uh, lots of the Olympics, I'm sure some of you were too, uh, especially the athletics, uh, and there were lots of things that were similar, a little bit similar to St Andrews. Uh, obviously the fact that there weren't any spectators in the stadium was a little bit like me walking into a very quiet high school this morning. Uh, but I think there's some great examples here of other things too. Uh, this is the USA women's 4x400 meters relay team. Uh, Alison Felix on the left there in her fifth Olympics, Athing Mu, third from the left in her first Olympics. She was two when Alison Felix won her first Olympic gold. That's obviously a community that's welcoming new members in and supporting each other, which is lovely. Uh, my favorite moment of the Olympics, apart from the, all the athletics and the actual athletic feats of the people being the best they can be, was this one here, uh, the Italian high jumper Tambieri and the Qatari high jumper Bashim uh, sharing a gold medal. And there's a lovely story that you can read if you search for it about how uh, Tambieri was in. We had a really bad injury a few years ago and Bashim was the one who supported him through recovery from that injury. So, like I say, a little bit like the start of the new school year. Uh, I really like this. We all know the Olympics is about being faster, higher and stronger. And then this year, they added that together. And I think that's how, it's, well, that's how we should be starting the school year. Maybe not faster, higher and stronger, but academically. Uh, but the together is really, really important. Uh, and to join us in that, we have, as I've already said, many new teachers and many, many new students. Uh, I'm sure you'll be getting to know the new students in your tutor group this morning. Uh, here's all of the teachers. Often we do this in uh, big assemblies in the sports hall. We can't do that at the moment. So I'm going to just introduce you to the 25 new teachers starting the high school this term. Uh, so you can see we have Miss Alex, who's a drama teacher and the tutor for 9H. Miss Alyssa, who's one of our two new uh, university counsellors. Miss Astrid, who's a German teacher. Mr. Ben, a geography teacher and the tutor for SQ. Mr. Brett, who will be working on VTEX. Uh, Mr. Chris, uh, who will be an English teacher and the tutor for SK. Mr. Daniel, who's a physics teacher and a tutor for SA. Mr. Derek, who's our new head of science. Mr. De Diego, also a physics teacher and the tutor for SA. And Mr. Edward, who's a business and economics teacher and the tutor for SE. If we carry on, uh, we have Mr. Jacob, who's a maths teacher and tutor uh, for 10B, Mr. Joshua, who is a PE teacher and one of the new heads of year for year 10, uh, Miss Joy, who is an English teacher and the tutor for 7B, Mr. Lewis, who is a maths teacher and the tutor for SL, Miss Malak, who is a languages teacher, French and Spanish, and a tutor for SH, Mr. Oliver, who is a chemistry teacher and a tutor for 10G, Miss Rihanna, who is a biology teacher and a tutor for 8C, Mr. Robert, who is our second new university counsellor. And Miss Samia, who is a chemistry teacher and a tutor for 7F. Mr. Sean, who will be working in our Embracing Differences program. Mr. Sharwin, who is another maths teacher and a tutor for 8D. Mr. Sheldon, uh, who is a PE teacher. Miss Sylvia, who is a biology teacher and a tutor for SI. Miss Susie, an English teacher and a tutor for SJ. And last but not least, Mr. Trevor, our new head of geography and the tutor for 9G. So I know that when you see them in your, some of you will have these as your tutors, or you'll have them for your different classes, and you'll know that you're welcome to St Andrews. As I've already mentioned, we have uh, Mr. Josh, who's a new teacher and a head of year. 
you can see from this graphic, you'll know already if you're in year 7, 8, 9 or 10, that year 7, 8, 9 or 10 are having two heads a year this year, so we can really make sure that we're giving you that safe, supportive, happy environment, whether we're on, online at the moment or when we're back in school soon. Uh, for year 11, the new head of year is Miss Sasha, Mr. Owen is now our head of English, and then Miss year 12 and year 13 will know Mr. John and Miss Nikki from last year. Obviously on that slide we also have Mr. Andrew, our uh, Student Welfare and Progress Deputy Head, who works with all the heads of year. Uh, as I've also mentioned, we have two new university councillors. Just a reminder of what our other councillors, you'll be hearing from Miss Amy shortly, uh, and I'm sure many of you know Miss Twinkle and Miss Jade, and will recognise Miss Simran, who was working in our learning support department last year, and this year is a councillor intern. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about a little bit is our exam results, which are fantastic. Many of you over the summer would have seen the video of Bjorn celebrating his amazing score in the IB. Uh, Bjorn is one of uh, 19 students to get 40 points or more. He's first there in alphabetical order. Uh, he, Bjorn achieved 45 points, to, like almost a perfect score in the IB. Seven in all of his six subjects and A in both his theory of knowledge and his extended essay, which is fantastic. Uh, again, you can see this on the school website, but we asked Bjorn for some top tips to pass on to you at the start of the new school year. Uh, these are really good advice from Bjorn. So create a healthy routine for your day that works for you. Be strict and then you can relax when it's complete. Be proud of learning support. Everyone needs a little help from time to time. Stay active. Include some physical activity in your daily routine. The PE teachers will be sharing that with you very soon. Uh, exercise helped me to stay focused and was a part of the day I really look forward to. Get feedback from your teachers, stay after class and ask your teachers simple questions like what can I do to improve and then finally put the work in and you'll get results. So some great advice from Bjorn. Uh, so uh, of course at St Andrews we don't just celebrate the best scores, like I said Bjorn's 45 points and those other, nine, other 18 students with more than 40 points were fantastic. But it's also about all of the students in the year group. We're very, very pleased that the average diploma's point score of all of the students that did the IB diploma is our best ever too. And our pass rate, 95% of the students who did the IB diploma got the IB diploma. That's our best ever score too, which is fantastic. Uh, more recently, we've also got some fantastic results from our IGCSEs. Last year's year 11, so many of them starting their IB diploma program uh, today in year 12, and again, Two different measures that we use. One, the percentage of students getting five or more A star to C grades, which was 91% our best ever, just beating last year's score. And the other one is the overall, the percentage of grades, all of the grades awarded for all of the students in all of their subjects that were A, A star or 987 in those subjects, 48%, almost half the grades awarded being an A or more, which is fantastic. Uh, so, like I say, welcome back to the start of the new school year. We really look forward to seeing you all back in school as soon as we possibly can. I know it's going to be a challenging start to the new year. As I said, we can do it. We can welcome those new members of the school community, whether they're students or teachers. We can say hello to all of our friends from last year. Have a fantastic school year. And we are going to do, have some fantastic things working together this school year. Have a great day and have a great term.